Tonight, Sam misses a turning. Go, oh, oh, miss a turning. Ryan makes a weird noise. Uh. And Bruffy's on our track. Hello, yes, hello and welcome to What is the X80 Proto? And currently, by the time this episode gets aired, is the most recent vehicle to be added to the game. Now, over the last few weeks, the three of us have read your numerous comments and it is clearly evident that you guys wanted to see our stick. So what we're going to do now is move on to Sam and Ryan, who are over there. Yes, that's right. Now, unsurprisingly, none of us three enjoy or like public transport, despite the fact that at one stage of our lives, we are sadly going to have to use it. And since buses are unfortunately the most popular type of public transport, we decided to see if we could help improve the bus industry. Yeah. So what we decided to do was meet up in a car park in the middle of the city with a bus of our choice, just to see what make and model of bus should the bus industry base their new vehicles on. As you can see, I have arrived first because I have bought the best bus. Um, don't really know too much about it except the fact that it's yellow, it's white, and it can seat about um, some people in the back. Uh, it's got a steering wheel, like most buses, and um, it's able to move from A to B, but very, very slowly. Just got to wait to see what the others have bought now. Who's this? It's... It, oh my god. It's Sam, and he's bought a, um... Uh... <laughs> another bus! Hey, oh, yeah, alright. What the hell is this? <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? Well, it's a, um... It's a bus. Yeah, what is it? A downtown bus. What's its name? Clearly. Has it got, like, a brand, or...? Downtown. Nice. Um... See, it's patriotic, it's, um... <laughs> what, yeah, mind you step. Do, do you... Do you... Do you actually red. know anything about your bus? Yes, it's got four wheels. Um, uh, it's, it's red, shade of red. As you could probably tell, we were waffling, but that wasn't because we didn't know anything about buses. It was because we were waiting for our third colleague to arrive. Oh, nice. um, oh here we go! Oh my! Ha <laughs> 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 he's, he's bought a sausage That's, dog. Um, no, it's not a sausage dog. Was that it's a, skin a werewolf? Though? Was that a skin? <laughs> it's a werewolf. What do you mean a sausage dog? Well, that's dash a, hound that's stands dash hound, for sausage yeah. dog. Yeah, that may be true actually. <laughs> so, um, the only different thing I can see is your bus has got three wheels on each side as opposed to us yes. having two. It's six by six, and it, as you can see, on it's got some ro some red pinstriping on the side. It looks a bit like a sandwich with a little jam filling in the middle. No, that's that 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 is elegant red pinstriping like they do on a uh, on most luxurious cars. What luxurious cars have red pinstriping? Sam, I can't think of top of my head. Uh, none. Wait, wait, wait. What that, is? No, that's Tom a coach. Got? And Tom's got, is a van. I've got a bus. It's not a van. No, that's it's a van. A it's a van. It's no, a that's a van. Bus. It even it's says red. It says red no, car van. on the side. It yeah, says yeah. red car on the it side. Yeah, yeah. He clearly says. Look. That. Yeah, and look what it says at the back: rental shuttle. It's what picks you up yeah, from that's the car not park a bus. and drives you to the airport. It says yes, car it on it. A shuttle it's is a not a bus. Ryan, you can't say anything. You've bought a coach, which isn't a bus. It's more of a bus than yours is. The debating went on for quite some time, but eventually we were stopped due to the arrival of our first challenge. Right, so uh, challenge is in, lads. For our first challenge. Uh, you shall now get to grips with your buses by driving them to the Top Gear test track. I don't have a bus license. Would that be a problem? I don't have a bus license. I, I can't see it being that much of an issue. But you don't have a bus. Yeah. Oh, oh my days. It's a bus! And so, with the challenge set, we hit the road. Well, one of us did. Um, how do we get out of here? Um, oh, 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 God, no! I've knocked over a lamppost. Oh, oh, Sam, watch out. Oh my god. Um, is that, that the way. correct exit? Um, Apparently, this bus can get to 120 miles an hour. Whilst Sam and I were struggling to talk about our buses, it seemed that Ryan was struggling more than we were. Understeer! No, no, no! God damn oh, it. Oh, come on! There we go. Let's keep it. Oh my god! 
Oh I my think god. Yours was fast, Tom. Where it, it. My bus is fast. I had to slow down for an FQ2. Sorry, your van is what? My bus is fast. Guys. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Six wheel drive will help me out of this situation. Come on. We haven't even got to the test track yet and he's already crashed. Eventually, we all made it to the Top Gear test track, and with the exclusion of me losing my rear window, oh you moron! We all made it to the test track undamaged, in which we then prepared ourselves for what would be the first proper challenge. Right, so, first challenge. It, it just quite simply says you shall now do a drag race. First one across the line wins. Um, I should have this in the bag. Three, two, one, go! Go, go, oh, go! Yes, the launch. Oh, oh whoa, what? No, 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 no. What is going on? Yes, Power. I'm in the lead. No. The bus is in oh, the on. lead. Hang on, the beat yes. the is not kicking in. No, yes. Oh, yes, the, the coach is over the no. The coach is going to win. No. Come on! Come on! I'm gaining! I'm gaining! Come on! Come on! I'm gaining no, 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 in the finish line! No! No! Yes! I'm gonna win it! Oh. Yes. Ooh, that was the most intense slow race I've ever had in my life. That's definitely the slowest drag race that we've ever had on, <laughs> on our test track. After the results of the drag race, I wasn't very happy. It... It's it's a bus. Mine was the slower, so therefore it's the most bus like. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Because you're last, you can't try to put that out as a good thing. The purpose of a drag race is to become first. But the only issue I have being a bus driver is that whilst it may be quick, you can't really pull many girls in it. And you know, as men, that's what we do with cars. We want it to, to a attract women. So why don't we have a go of trying to to drift the buses? Uh. Why don't we use the Why don't we use the apex just over there to try and drift the buses? And whoever drifts the bus the best is the most likely to pull women. Okay. Since your bus is closest, you should go first. Right, Ryan, you ready? Yes, I am ready. Right, <laughs> go. Okay, oh, and we're he's off. Moving. <laughs> okay, so the key in drifting is to oh, keep your momentum as oh, you hit the apex. He's going here in. He comes. He hits the handbrake, he accelerates! <laughs> and oh my run. god! <laughs> that wheel, three wheels. <laughs> I thought you. <laughs> that was for showmanship, that was on purpose. After Ryan's abysmal attempt of trying to drift, Sam decided that he should go next. He need to get the right distance. He's gonna go too far, he's gonna overcook it. I think I agree with that, that's why I only took a short run up. Now, I believe that speed is the key to everything. I bet he's doing his stupid speed is the key to everything speech right now. Right, Sam, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Right, right go. Go, go. Alright, and he's off. I think. Oh my god, this is slow. Oh my god, that's slow. Okay, he's coming down. Stephen Hawkins can do the 100 meter sprint faster than that. There he is. There he is. Oh, here he the comes. Corner. Here he comes. He's going up to the apex. And... What's he... Oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> oh! That didn't mean to happen. Sam, is the bus okay? Oh, no. You've got a little scratch. What do you mean the bus has got a little scratch? Look at me. Right, this is my plan. You see, Sam had the idea of speed, and Ryan had the idea of the correct distance and drifting with the apex, but the buses have too much grip. So what I'm going to do is cunningly shoot out my tyres. Knowing Tom will find a way to cheat this. Yeah. Somehow. Well, he's already cheating, isn't he? Because he's not on a bus. Can I go yet? Are you ready? Right, I'm ready. Oh, look at that. Much less traction out of the tyres. Is, is that moving? He's still there. Oh no, he's, he's moving. There. He's still big, pulling away. A big oh, cloud of smoke right. has just left his thing. Oh, we go. Oh, wait, why is? Wait, what? Here we go. Here I, think, it, I think. I think we. I think we. Go. I'm, I'm moving back. Here we I'm go. Back. Running away. Oh god! Oh. And he's overcooked it. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Just gonna. No, he's overcooked it. Just, um, nothing to see. Look! Look at this! I'm doing donuts in a bus. Look at this! Look at this!
We'll pick up with that later on, but now it's time for us to put a subscriber in our small car. Now, my guest tonight is probably one of the most northern guests we'll ever have, and weirdly, it isn't Sam. It also isn't Sam because this guy can actually drive a car in GTA 5. And when I say drive, I mean very, very fast. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you haven't guessed already, it's Bruffy1322. So I took him down to the test track just to see what lap time he could achieve. So, here it is, the De Classe Asia, the reasonably priced car that you shall be driving mm. today. I mean, I, I've, I've driven this car a little bit before, and I've got to say it's top of the range, top of the line. I mean, um, look at the lines on this. Uh, it seems that's, aerodynamic. That's a first. Um, for, the, you, the joke is the meant to... I think we'll, we'll, just cut, we'll just do the lap. So, Bruffy, are you ready? I am extremely ready. <laughs> okay. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Right, three... Two, one, go! Ooh, lots of wheel spin from these series. Way too much wheel spin there. So, uh, for those who may not know you, what exactly do you do on the YouTube? Uh, I mainly test vehicles on GTA, so it's all about finding which are the best cars to use in a racing situation. Definitely not this one, I'm guessing. I mean, <laughs> no, the, the AC is not that great. <laughs> Obviously, this is front wheel drive, so favourite front wheel drive car out of curiosity like oh the, the prairie yeah I, I, I almost had to think there but the, the prairie isn't anything special but it, it's it's I've had a lot of interesting moments in that car so. <laughs> so GTA what was your first car uh, I think it was the Dominator good ch that's a good car uh, yeah I, I kind of held off a, a vehicle to buy uh, to sort of get and I searched around a little bit in the very early days of the online version of the game it was very basic back then oh it was really it was basic very any, look, no FMJs or Zentornos no, no it was very little the entity was the quickest back then oh my days yeah but everybody used the adder of the adder yeah until my expensive. videos came out <laughs> <laughs> right Prairie is your first car Dominator no Dominator sorry is your first car Prairie is uh, favourite front wheel drive but your favourite all-round car on GTA? I, um, I mean, that one's... I've got a lot of cars that I really like, but it's easy to know my absolute favourite, and that's the, uh, Stinger G the, the Stinger GT. That's a good show. Love that's that nice car. car. That's been in it from the beginning, though. I yeah, it has. It, it, online only, as well. It, it, it was the only car that was only available to online back in the day. And so was the pair of us bobbed our heads. It was time for Bruffy to do the real thing. Okay, and he's off. We'll spin off the line there. Um, that's s silence there from Bruffy. Obviously, the sound of a concentrating man as we exit Chicago. Coming up to the hammerhead. <laughs> so planted around there, carrying a lot of speed on the exit. Again, silent. But deadly, coming into the follow through, lots of speed, second to last corner, again, very fast, into Gambon, and across the line! So, how do you think you did? Uh, I don't know, not too bad, I'm a little bit nervous because I've got a reputation to uphold, I suppose, with the car <laughs> testing, but I feel like the practice laps were a little bit better than the, the main one, but I don't know, it, it was okay. So, fastest time at the moment is Dr. Tom with... Uh, 57.2 got Nick with 57.3 GTA Wise guy we had on two weeks ago 57.6 Bruffy 1322 your lap time was a 50 I'm nervous 6 dead wow <laughs> 56 you shaved dead. off an entire second <laughs> <laughs> oh great so um, I've, it's just been confirmed that Dr. Tom has jumped off the bridge he's um <laughs> but at least, at least well, I've, I've upholded my reputation, I guess. <laughs> now, again, I would just like to personally thank Bruffy for coming onto the show. And, Dr. Tom, if you are thinking of jumping off a bridge, there is a YouTube channel I can send to you that may help. Uh, Ask Kai will help you. Anyway, it's now time to carry on tonight's challenge, as the three of us are trying to find out what is the best bus. We may as well have named this challenge Why We Have No Lives. 
As a new day dawned over Los Santos, we were told to meet in the center of the city at the Los Santos Bus Department, where we would be given our final bus driver challenge. I hate the way bus drivers always wear stupid suits. What are you talking about? Well, look at look at us. We look like morons. I look like a bus driver. What do you mean? This is the best I've ever looked. Anyway, uh, it says here the final challenge. Um, as only old people use public transport, you shall now all race to their favourite bus stops. In no particular order, you must visit the golf club, the stage, Pier 45, the Puerta car park, the horse track, and then finish at the core centre on the west of Los Santos. Can this be a Le Mans race? Le Mans style? I mean, it could be. If, uh, I don't know, if we were to go in... Now? Don't I don't know, let's, let's, let's just go now. Let's just, let's just go. And we're off. Right. Go! Oh, 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 God. That's bad. I'm going. I want a bit of contact there for Tom. Okay, so my plan of action will be to go to the stage first. And then after the stage, I'm going to visit the horse track or the casino. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the La Puerta car park. And then it will be the pier, the golf club, and finally the court centre. Now, my bus might have been the slowest in the drag race, and it might have lost the drifting challenge. But I have good faith that I will win this. I will be able to redeem myself and prove that this is a bus. Now, unlike the other two, I'm going to get the furthest away one. Out the way first, which is La Purieta Car Park. The racing line, don't hit the traffic. This one. We're going over 60. Oh! Come on, speed up! Okay, we're gonna get up to the big hills and see how well the bus does. As long as I don't stop, I should be fine. Because I got a feeling if I stop on this hill, uh, I probably won't end up going again. And if I do, I'll be rolling down the hill, which is not the direction we want to be going. Now I should add, when we get to these locations, we have to wait five seconds to give our, you know, elderly persons enough time to be kicked off the bus. Come on, come on, we don't have a lot of time. Go, oh, missed a turning. Oh, that's bad. That's going to cost me some time. If I work my way from east to west, that might be the quickest method of getting there. If I save the pier to last, that might be the best way of saving time, which is key to this challenge. Okay. We're approaching the uh, we're approaching the stage right now, so we're just gonna park up. Oh, sorry, cut you up. Right, next one, which is the pier, which is literally just up the road. Okay, so next on our list is the horse track. However, getting to the horse track wasn't as easy as Ryan made it sound. No, don't change that. What are you doing? Oh God! Oh, there's Ryan. Oh, there's a competitor. Oh my God! Oh, I've rolled the Holy bus. Holy sh! I've rolled the bus. That's a big this is crash. not good. That's a big... <laughs> no, I've rolled the bus. Unaware of the events that were unfolding, Sam had just arrived at Pier 45. So the next stop after this is the golf club, which is, again, it's just around the corner. I wonder if Ryan's still stuck down there. Sam hit reverse. Let's spin it round. <laughs> oh, no, this is so embarrassing. Here comes Tom. Oh, hello. There's a bit of traffic going on here. Um, still unaware of Ryan's crash, Sam had just arrived at his third destination and was discovering how difficult his bus was to turn. Jesus, this is a tight corner. Oh, God. Thanks to Ryan being an idiot, I've just bashed the front of my bloody bus and I've completely lost all sense of time and placement. Anyway, I've done the horse track and the stage, so I'm now going to head to the golf club. At this point then, it was clear. It was now a two-horse race between Sam and myself. Coming through! Right, going over here now, taking a shortcut. Yes. The destination down. Oh my god, these buses have no power up these hills. And we're off! Right, next stop is the horse track, which is just here. Okay, so, three down, two left to go. Two, three, four... Oh my god, I'm drifting! I just drifted a bus! Power now. Don't hit into me. Oh, he... sorry. Just park here now. Oh god, five seconds is a week! Come on! No, what are you doing, you maniac? Okay, five seconds is done. Heading now to the last location. Right, coming up to the next and final stop before the end, which is the stage. Oh, bollocks, I'm on the wrong side. 
Ah, oh, I need to get to the car park over there. And so, with Sam reaching his final destination, I pulled out all the stops to reach mine. I want to go in the water, through the fences, through the fences. There we go. Oh my god, this road is terrifying. Oh my... Oh god, that's a car. Oh god. Oh my god. I've killed a man. Okay, so, heading now to the final location, the core centre at the top of the mountain. Right, now it's just a straight race to the core centre, which is just down this road. Oh, hello, is this a bus? Who's this? It's not Sam, I thought that was Sam. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I've lost all revs, come on! Come on, it's just round this corner, come on, speed, come on, power. Give me all that torque. Give me all this torque now to give me up this hill. No. No, you're kidding me. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, thanks for that. Cheers, mate. I do apologise. Well, well, unlucky. That was. I didn't um, see it. It's so small, your van. Sorry. That was close. I saw you coming up the hill, and I was struggling. Oh, I thought man. you better not have more power than me. Um. Slight problem. Bit of an issue. What? You've got no windows. Your, your van's in bad condition. No, not, neither of those things. My bus is in bad condition. No, not that either. I'm pretty sure there were three of us when we started this race. Yes, And if there we look at the space over there, there doesn't seem to be a, a, a bus. Um, I mean, where could he possibly be? I'm going to win this race. I've got no doubt about it. I'm definitely winning. I mean, I just have the best bus. Now, just before you two start arguing about who won, to clarify, Tom, yours was a van, and Ryan's, yours was a coach, and considering that mine was the only bus, it therefore concludes that I won the bus challenge. Fact! Sorry, hang on, so sorry, Evans, but Sam, I think you may be forgetting something here. And what's that? Well, since you were adamant that you have won this challenge from now on ryan and i can test out the fun super and sporty cars and you can test out all the industry vehicles how does that sound <laughs> sounds good but to me Tom, you with it and we're... anyway anyway before we end tonight's episode it would be it'd be pointless in us having the uh, x80 proto over there and not having it go around the track now some say that when he drops a sick beat it drops harder than the greek economy and that when he watches a film with a plot twist, he doesn't spoil the plot by posting it on social media. All we know is, he's called The Stick. Okay, and he's off! Flying start there from the X80 Proto. Coming in to Chicago, carrying a lot of speed. It is so flat and planted! Again, carrying so much speed through Chicago. Coming up to the hammerhead, will it remain planted? I'm expecting a bit of oversteer. A little bit. Plenty of power there. There's our stick. Listening to uh, Bad Day in Reverse. Yeah, that's definitely Bad Day in Reverse. Into the second to last corner. Coming into Gambon. Lots of speed and across the line. Okay, so. The stick's lap time. Was a 41 seconds. 0.8. But it can't stay on the board. Because it's a prototype and it's not actually road legal. So why don't we have a naughty Shut flap? This, none of us are that dull to put a stupid idea like that on the power lapse board. Surely. And on that bombshell, we shall see you guys in a few weeks' time. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>